morning, everyone. It's a different feel for me. I'm sure there will be a lot of followers, cricket followers. So I've taken the topic about learning, sports, and through sports learning. I started my cricket in uh, Madurai, where the facilities were not up to the mark. We used to carry our own mats to the ground to practice, where we nail ourselves. We get our teammates to help us out. We used to get uh, substandard quality balls. That's where we, we, we brought up. And from there, we moved, uh, moved on to, uh, some moved on to the city, where we played some, some league cricket and up to the state level. From there on, it was a challenge for me. It's a challenge where every step is a learn, learning process. What do you learn? You learn to compete with each other. You learn to mingle with each other. There is a challenge, basically, when you move out from district to the city. There is a lot of communication issues where you are not brought up with, uh, with English speaking, uh, with the city boys. It's, it's a real challenge I faced. And, and you get onto the field, that is, that is challenges facing, you're not used to the wickets, you'll be uh, play from the matting wicket, you have been coming onto the turf wickets, and, and there will be a, the, the balls, the, the kit, what you use, or it's, it's very, very much of a advanced quality. So these are all the challenges I've gone through. And then I thought it is only the learning which, which took me to the international arena, from Madurai to Jamaica. So I went on a first, first tour to West Indies under uh, Dilip Vengsaka. It's a learn. It's a learning process again. You come across a lot of challenges, different culture again. There you come to face the Chin music, the music of West Indies. The ball passes through every time you you get into the bat. When you when you bowl, the arrogance the arrogance come, come, comes out from the batsman. Sometimes we Richards, Richie Richardson, Gordon Greenwich, they put you, put you back. They feel, they, 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 they like to dominate. So that way, you face a lot of challenges. You come across guys who who you follow them in the school level, in the college levels, listening to them in the commentary. They'll be playing against you. They'll be, uh, some of them will be along with you in the team. When you land up in, the, in Jamaica, the guys, the crowd, they come up to you and say, Ambi Mon, he'll break your toe, man. That's the thing. Oh my God, if you're going to break my toe, how am I going to land up and bowl? It's, it's a challenge again. We Richards, they say, he hit you over the park, man. Ball's going to fly. So there, what, what I used to think about is do what you can and leave the rest to settle down. A 
little bit of about the cricket uh, background. Uh, it's a very old uh, game, old fashioned game, colonial uh, cricket. It started off with colonial cricket and those days uh, in, uh, in our school where the teacher, the PE teacher and the coach who is going to take care of us. If you, if you hit the ball above the, above the ground, if you try to loft, they say, you're done, boy. You have to get out because you hit the ball in the air. So they don't allow you to bat. That's the, that's the era we have, we have been brought up. Now, what is happening? You have to get under the ball to hit the ball to the crowd. So from V, cricket, where you use a top hand to play the game, now you are gone to use a bottom hand to lift the ball over the ropes. So most of them knows about what is off spin means. It's off spin is basically a ball which comes from off stem to the into the batsman. In, uh, in those, those days, the, the game is played with whites and traditional clothing and, uh, and in daylight. And, and after, after the T20 cricket, the one day format all evolved. After that, there are so many sixers coming out. It is an entertainer. The game is an entertainer. There are so many inventions happening. And it has come under the lights, where, where, the, where the people can sit and watch in a cool place. Changes do happen. Changes do happen. But the rules and the laws of the game stays. The, the wicket length is the same. The stem's height is the same. But we play around and evolve. Whenever there is an evolution happens, it, it, it starts from where it was. It comes through learning. And changes do happen because you put in your mind, you put in your, your, your analysis, you put in your hard work, and then bring in changes. Which, which is for the good. As a human being, we have a mechanism. We have a mechanism to survive. To survive in any condition. And we look for changes to happen. The changes which happen is through by technology, where you upgrade yourself, you learn, you bring in more analysis, you bring in more uh, technology into the game where we analyze each and every player, each and every condition, and then we compete. We compete to better the opponents. In effect, what is the what is the goal? It's a, it's a learning is happening through sports. There is life learning skills, skill development. And, and this game has given me a lot of learning right from the field to the off the field. And it has given me a livelihood. And uh, through this, sports, it's through sports and cricket which develop your life skill and keep learning. Thank you very much.